the most important part of our structure, I think, is the time that we allot to professional development um, in lots of different ways. So there's what would look like professional development. I think we have maybe nine days per year or something like that in the summer and during the year. And it's, it's spread throughout the year specifically so that it's more job embedded. Um, there are meetings um, of advisors, just advisors in the building. There are meetings of the whole staff in the building. There are meetings of grade pairs. There are meetings of grade levels across the building. So there are a myriad of interconnecting meetings <laughs> that are designed to um, help people when they have a dilemma or a question or a success uh, process through those with everyone else. So that is really critical that there's a lot of time and that we can help them develop a professional learning community that will um, that will provide that support. The principal is often the advisor to their staff and they have one-on-one -on -one meetings with their advisors and they have team meetings with their advisors and they do model for those advisors different elements of what might need to happen. And I would say the one-on-ones with the principal are really critical. They meet one-on-one -on -one with their staff member each week and they talk through um, students that are struggling, their own struggles personally with their transition to an advisor. And, you know, I think uh, professional development wise, while all advisors and are educators and professionals, um, and that is the key area of professional development, they're also human beings and they need support in those areas too. And I would say that powerful learning experience in terms of site-based is really this idea of taking, let's say, a workshop that they've got, gotten, some of the tools and strategies, and then taking it back to their site and being able to work with a team of teachers to really help implement that and discuss some of the things that they're um, uncovering as they go through the year, but also in spaces in schools where teachers get to collaborate together and plan, because that's actually where the rubber meets the road, right? It's this idea of like you take something, a learning, you take it back to your school site, and there's spaces within the structures of the school that allow you to really complement that. One thing that's really important to understanding how New Tech Network approaches sort of teacher and leader development is we, we draw a very sharp distinction between the work and process of training versus the work and process of professional development. Professional development is a term you see everywhere in every school district in the country, but most of the time when we spend time in school districts, what we see in the professional development time is actually training. And training really is a function of, again, a system designed around power and accountability. And the script for training usually goes, on Tuesday, I'm going to teach you how to do X. And on Wednesday, I'm gonna show up in your room and see if you're doing it exactly like I told you to do it on Tuesday. Development is about increasing people's capacity to make sense out of complexity. And so we, we design professional learning experiences, whether it's at our annual conference, whether it's a day with a coach on site at a school, around the, the construct of complexity. We're always trying to grow people's ability to make sense out of complex information and complex realities, because that's what teaching and learning looks like every single day in every school across the country.